tradition of all dead generations weighs like a nightmare on the brains of the living. Society does not consist of individuals, but expresses the sum of interrelations, the relations within which these individuals stand. Labor in the white skin can never free itself as long as labor in the black skin is branded. The increase in the value of the world of things is directly proportional to the decrease in value of the human world. The ruling ideas of each age have ever been the ideas of its ruling class. The production of too many useful things results in too many useless people. Capital is dead labor, which, vampire-like, lives only by sucking living labor and lives the more, the more labor it sucks. The education of all children, from the moment that they can get along without a mother's care, shall be in state institutions. Religion is the opium of the people. Necessity is blind until it becomes conscious. Freedom is the consciousness of necessity. Money is the alienated essence of man's labor and life. And this alien essence dominates him as he worships it. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. To be radical is to go to the root of the matter. For man, however, the root is man himself. Political power, properly so called, is merely the organized power of one class for oppressing another. Moments are the elements of profit. As individuals express their life, so they are. Imagination, that great gift that has contributed so much to the development of mankind. The philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. The love of parents is the most disinterested. The last capitalist we hang shall be the one who sold us the rope. Men make their own history, but they don't make it as they please. Go on, get out. Last words are for fools who haven't said enough. It is not the consciousness of men that determines their being, but, on the contrary, their social being that determines their consciousness. Religion is the impotence of the human mind to deal with occurrences it cannot understand. In proportion, therefore, as the repulsiveness of the work increases, the wage decreases. Under no pretext should arms and ammunition be surrendered. Any attempt to disarm the workers must be frustrated by force if necessary. Communism is the riddle of history solved, and it knows itself to be this solution. Religion is the sigh of the oppressed creature, the heart of a heartless world, and the soul of soulless conditions.